I care a great deal about this issue, both as a veteran and an Iowan. Iowa has lost three guardsmen who were serving in Afghanistan in just the last two weeks. In March, I traveled to Afghanistan to meet with U.S. troops, speak with the military and government leaders, including Afghan President Karzai, and learn about the ongoing NATO mission from Lieutenant General William Caldwell. It was through conversations with these men and women on the ground that I learned about the progress we have made in training Afghan security forces, establishing a self-sufficient government, and rebuilding key infrastructure. After returning from this fact-finding mission, I support the President in drawing down U.S. troops in the country no later than this July. Our primary objective when we entered Afghanistan was to hunt down the terrorists responsible for murdering thousands of innocent Americans on 9-11. This week's announcement of the successful pursuit and resulting death of Osama bin Laden solidified my support for a responsible drawdown of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. After nearly 10 years of sacrifice from our soldiers and their families, it is time that we reduce our combat presence in the nation while continuing to work with our NATO allied forces to train Afghan police and maintain a stable government. America can no longer afford the financial and human cost of a combat mission in Afghanistan that has no end in sight. Downsizing the U.S. role to solely our partnership with NATO will reduce our financial burden tenfold and free up resources to track terrorist threats in other nations. I look forward to joining with Iowa military families this summer to welcome our troops back as we draw down in Afghanistan. These men and women have accomplished major milestones in our mission. It's time to bring them home.